What's going down, AMD family? And today, we're going to be looking and digesting what has come down with 21.7.1, the new optional that has slid across the AMD GPUs in order to make it more optimal. We're going to be looking at some benchmarks, and we're going to be digesting what has happened inside the patch note change and what they're saying directly from AMD. My name is Mac here at the McGraver 7 channel. If you're brand new, slam the subscription button and accompany it with the notification bell to get more future notifications on the AMD news source and what's going down. And for returning community members, slam the like button, get excited, and let's see what ends up happening with the changes inside this one. It's not bad. When you size up the two different updates, 21.6.2 are other optional sized up with the brand new optional, which is 21.7.1 on the right. So brand new on the right, old on the left. And yes, it's not the percentage that we want to see jumping up. But if you're looking in the graphics score area, well, there actually is a tiny bit more optimal between the tandemness inside of the GPU and inside of the actual CPU. So gaming performance in 4K on DirectX 12 as a glimpse into it before we get into the patch notes, it's looking pretty good. But here we go, as we are looking at the new highlights of what's gonna end up happening. So they have introduced for support for the 67M and 66M, their mobile processors. But exclusively some of them are being sold directly through Best Buy. So you can get some pretty cool laptops nowadays with gaming performance inside of it. On top of that, we have F1 21 for as far as the 6% that they're saying that they're getting in the ultra high quality inside of ray tracing and the enabling up to 26 at 1080p. So you definitely have some options to see some really cool stuff with ray tracing with the brand new driver on the 16 gig models yes it's going to be utilizing a lot more foot pedal which was very interesting because i did notice a gain in performance in my radeon 7 that happened to have 16 gigs yes fine wine i get it but i have noticed that the performance in this graphics card has gotten a lot better over the years since out of the box day one so if you have one of these GPUs, leave a comment down below. What are you experiencing with this update? Are, are you experiencing the great performance on these games or is it humbug? You leave the comment and let decide. But as we digest what the fixed issues were is Oculus comes into some service portions of errors that happened between the 5000 and the 6000 series, which prevented the Oculus setup software from running the light or as far as the corrupting portions of Apex Legend inside of the Radeon when the boost was enabled. So you can't get that situation going down. It was just corrupted. Once lightning, not the same. As we can see that some users experienced a elevated memory usage in the uh, AMD experience program, which seems to be something that AMD is always battling with on majority of GPUs, but they're trying. Moving on to the mismatch errors that may occur during two versions of the Radeon software. This is an issue that's been reoccurring that they've been trying to fix and the issues are is that you're installing the Windows Store as well as the AMD support version which is directly from their site. Once you've downloaded it inside of the other UI, you can download it directly from there and that's not an issue. It's just going to the Windows Store and downloading it which I'll be detailing in a whole other separate video as the 20 one series of you know installs have basically warrants a brand new video so i'm updating i got you guys and gals make it simple but on top of that in its own entirety are some installs on this system so if you have these portions just try to make sure you have one and or the other not at the same time let's pick one Moving on past that for as far as the experiences inside of the higher elevated portions in 3D Wark and Time Spy. And this has been something that I've kind of watched myself where it kind of goes up and down, but it hasn't been something that I haven't ran a few tests to notice to get the most consistent. But that is great that the consistency now is dialed in a lot more, which I have duly noted on top of testing when I was like, oh, this is kind of solid. Thanks, AMD. Appreciate you. Moving on past that for as far as the plane inside of the some users experiencing image corruption. 
when utilizing certain filters and having that enabled. Now issues that are open still are the same ones that we've had for as far as a good amount of portion. So definitely take note and read these from anywhere from the Resident Evil to like the CPU and GPU not hitting the minimum player requirements. There's a lot of stuff down there if you're still afflicted by, but keep posted there is going to be new stuff and you can always subscribe to the channel but right now we should be getting to some very very cool well does it perform as we can see up above there was the scores direct x12 and 4k and we're starting to see some improvements yes but one thing that i noticed is i ran the fsr special that was right after the production of this for as far as the situation of well here we go. Does it make a difference? Well, FSR had some really interesting results, so check out that video. But at this point, what does it happen with a synthetic test like 3D Mark, especially after they've already detailed fixing it consistently? So it's a little heartwarming when you see that the coupling point of 1080p joins the club of performance when looking at the graphics score. And when you look across it for as far as graphics in general, again, not percentage, but yeah, the CPU takes a little less as the GPU accelerates and gives you what you need with a power level over 9,000 in graphics score. I'm just saying, I mean, that's, that's semi super saiyan material right there, you know, it's working on it, you know. But I also understand that it's only literally like 30 points, give or take, between what we've actually looked at. But it's the right 30 points in the right direction. And for an optional, that's pretty good. Now, one thing that I will point out that, again, I will definitely encourage watching that FSR video that details that is there are some frame tears that come into it unless you utilize FSR in a certain setting in order to make it run smooth. So... Are you experiencing some randomness after installing this update where it wasn't as smooth as it used to, but performance increased? Hmm. Community show, comments down below. I'd like to hear what you have to show. With DirectX 11 now on the table, and us looking at the 4K department in Fire Strike Ultra, we can see that it definitely does get a little bit of increasement, but it's by pennies on the dollar for as far as increasements. You know, not that 100 actually looking for in life where it's like, damn, that's looking pretty sexy. But let's see what the bread and butter is. 1080p is what a majority of people play on as 4K becomes a new arable market. This is where you see entire that sometimes not everything is balanced directly where it's supposed to be. In 1080p, this is where you start to feel a little like the slide back of the older driver is going to be more performance for you. What they're trying to dial in nowadays seems like a lot of the performance cards and a lot of the performance cards are going from 2K to 4K and that's where a lot of the market's sliding to. So they're giving a lot more software update. No, that's not saying that you won't see some pretty cool stuff. Like when you see an old school driver beat the crap out of a new school driver that just got installed. So, this is one that it definitely at this point in time, what it summed up to is if you're playing 4K DirectX 12 titles, this is the driver for you. Or if you've been affected by some of the things that have been fixed, or you're part of the new mobile edition that joined up, it's for you. But... For the rest of you folks, the older driver has actually been tuned pretty well. And looking at the way that it performed with Godfall and the FSR special that should be up above for you guys and gals to check out, as well as a DDU. If you're having problems with your install, definitely utilize the DDU method. It, it helps out a lot. And I'll be putting out a newer video, which will detail the more common UI use of doing it non-Windows related. I don't understand why you need Windows to install AMD software. It's already complicated enough as is. It's like throwing in another step, but shame on you, Windows. You know it better. Anyways, moving on. Unless, you know, like some Windows engineer is like, yeah, you know what? There was an API change. We watched your video and we tried to clean it up with connections. And then that case, cool. Put me in the loop and then, you know, let me know what's up. It'd be cool to hear from you, you know, engineers and stuff like that. But is this driver for you not for the engineer side note of community like a comedy in that situation is that directx 12 works well directx 11 seems to like it kind of falters and a majority of gaming is written on directx 11 meaning ray tracing inside of directx 12 and some of the stuff that you can see like in directx 11 the showcase of these situations are really only built into like well what's it really going to do for me 
If your game has changed, then it's basically reverting back to the old driver, which I'm probably going to favor with. So 21.6.2 kind of seems to run a lot better unless you're running 21.7.1 and FPS is going up because of the FSR and you're only running on performance, which you should definitely check out the videos. But if you're newer to the network, like, share, and subscribe for future content, absolutely free, helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Lisa Sue will gift me with a you know graphics card and I can stop saying that at the end of every video. I'm saying, Lisa, eventually one of these has to catch you. Like, I know the API in YouTube and I know me saying this in the video, and having certain like you know like portions of commentary around the, you know the global interwebs eventually it's gonna happen you're gonna get suggested in my video it's gonna happen watch it'd be funny if it was this video actually anyways everyone stay safe stay classy and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future and techies and techettes i have a ton of new treats coming your way so stay tuned and get ready for your notification bells i have seen the statistics go up so much so if you haven't already got the notification click it down below and then there's that other complicated step that they have on like youtube where it's like on your phone and then it's like it notifies you when stuff goes on it's like instead of just having a unified notification who would have thought there's, there's steps to notifications complication see you guys and guys in the near future for uncomplicated cool stuff